Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to use Ozerex to visualize a lesion on the MRI of the head and then view it in an overlay fashion to see its relation to the rest of the brain. On the first instance, let's download a sample image set for Osorex. This web page has sample image sets to download for various parts of the body. Let's download the MRI of head. You will be downloading a zip file and once you have downloaded it, you need to unzip it. These are the folders that were output when I unzipped the downloaded zip file. Let's open the, this folder, the IRM folder, and see the sequences that I have. What I will do is I will now open the Osirix and then import uh, the T1 sequence. I have now opened the Osirix software and let's import one of the sequences of the images that I downloaded earlier. So let's click on the import icon. So let's um, try to import this folder. So let's click on the first image. Just note that the images of DICOM format so the suffix is .tcm so if you click on the first file and then go to the last file and then shift click that should uh, highlight all the intervening files as well and then if you click open that should uh, import uh, the files into Osirix. Here I will um, click to copy the files. So now we are back to the main window of the Osirix. We can see that the sequence has been imported into Osirix and this is the uh, images. We can just use this slider to go up and down. Good. So what we'll do is um, try to highlight that lesion here and then in a 3D model have a look at the head and look through the head to see the lesion so we can see the relation of the lesion to the rest of the head. So next step you need to do is to double click on the image. So that's going to bring you up this window on which you are going to do most of your segmentation, 3D visualization and so on. So let's go to the toolbar and um, click on this drop down menu. You can use the open polygon and I actually pre prefer pencil. So I'm going to click on pencil now. So now I'm going to use the pencil tool to draw around the lesion. So this is how I do good excellent and um, to the next next slice then once again next slice of course it's not not so absolutely clear going to make it a bit bigger I'm afraid here just to be on the safe side. I can just move this to uh, enlarge it if I want. Maybe something here. Good. So in the next step we have to name all the ROIs, that's a region of interest that we created, I think that was four, 
uh, using just one name. So for that, you click on ROI, and then you go to ROI rename, and then this dialog box comes up. Uh, here, if you click uh, on um, all ROIs in this series, and then say lesion, and you can probably not quite clearly see it, then just click OK. Now you will notice that all the ROIs have been uh, labeled as lesion. It also gives you the area of the each slice of the ROI. I'll just go up and down. Once again, you see the same uh, title or the same name. In the next step, we will go and calculate the volume. And uh, this should render the ROIs into a 3D shape as well. So now click on Compute Volume. Just before I do that, I just want to show you the option Generate Missing ROIs. So you remember that in uh, this uh, particular example, I highlighted all the regions of interest, but you can also miss a couple of slices and then name all of them with the same name and then use this function to generate the missing ROIs. So it can help you to quicken it. So now get back to the, we'll get back to the main tutorial. So now click Compute Volume and it's creating the volume. And so the volume of the lesion that I marked out is about 2.7 centimeters cube. And this is the image, the 3D image of it. But that is not good enough for us. What we wanted to do was create a 3D image of the lesion and then see how it's related to the rest of the brain. So to do that, you need to go to this button, which looks like a what we call a gear icon, and click on the 3D MIP. And it has generated a 3D reconstruction. And using this icon, you can change its contrast. I have played with the level of detail. I moved it to fine, the other end is coarse. And I also clicked on this 8 bit, 16 bit, uh, and uh, somehow managed to, I think, make it a bit more clear. So once again, I'll move this 3D image so you can kind of make it out. So that's the nose. This we are the ears, uh, the eyes, and uh, your left ear and right ear. Just move it. And uh, so we still need to underimpose our lesion into this um, model that we have created. To do this, you need to go to ROI, then click on ROI Manager, and then you will see the lesion. Then you click on to click this, um, check this lesion, so that will prepare the 3D. Now you can see the image, and if you want to change the color, then let's say that you want to make it look red, then you can use that red. It, and you can change the opacity. So that's done. So now we have achieved what we wanted to achieve. We have created the three model of the head and we have highlighted the lesion and now we can see the lesion in relation to the rest of the head and get a better idea. In the um, subsequent tutorials, I will show you how you can mark two different areas of regions of interest with different colors, and also how to export the images, the 3D reconstructions that you have created. I hope 
you have found this tutorial useful and if you have any questions or comments or advice please do not hesitate to drop me an email the email address is g underscore narendran n a r e n t h i r a n at hotmail.com wishing you a good day bye for now